Here we go. Okay, come on. Oh, she's got pills. We're going to dance first. Woo! Oh, go Heather. This is Heather, everybody. She's trying to take care of the Is that ready for the table? It's so ready. It's so ready. You want to do some like dancing shots? Okay, you keep, yeah, oh, dancing shots. Okay, here we go. Take your mat. Uh, uh. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Heather, where'd you go? You're still going? Yeah, the whole song. Girl. We gotta dance the whole song. Spawn for this, spawn for this. And I was trying to learn how to do head scarves today, but it's not working. <laughs> If you're new here, I'm Tia Stokes. I'm 34 years old. I'm a mom of five, major legend mates, Taz and Rose. And I'm married to Andy Stokes. Woohoo! And I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, I can't even say it, 17 days ago. Uh, that's right. And Heather over here is doing work. I'm trying to make her dance with me. Woo! Yes, I do. And hallelujah, let me testify to You can shake it over. Go ahead, Heather. <laughs> I remember what I came. Oh, she's coming back. Woo! Oh, there she is. I'm in her way. Oh, you're okay. Oh, yeah. Everybody, love you. Hey, the world is uh, uh, uh. Come on, I see you, Auntie Rosie. Uncle Leonard, let's dance. Come on. Oh, oh. days where I feel so good I'm like do I even have cancer I don't think I'm sick anymore I think I'm gonna go home tomorrow <laughs> That's, it's one of those days <laughs> but I know that I have a little bit of a road and this is my other jam my newest jam for you guys can you guys hear it our newest add-on come on guys life is too short we got to dance it out even if you're in your chair you can move your legs like this. Hey. Hey. Life's too short to just sit when music is playing. Seal down together. Come on. These days, these days. What are you guys grateful for today? Tell me what you're grateful for in the comments, in that little chatty thing. What are you grateful for? Come on. Come on. What are you guys grateful for? Ooh, yes. Fill it up with some gratefuls. Let's go. Fill it up. Fill it up. All that goodness. Come on, guys. Remember, if you are here, 
and you're updating with me on this journal, give this video a like. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Boom. If you like the music, dance. If you're grateful for something, dance and hit that like button. Let's go. These days, these days. Come on, Uncle and Aunties, who's ever watching? Jen, this is Macklemore. This is Macklemore, too. Come on, we can do this. We got this. Hey. Hey, what? That's right. What are you grateful for? Say what you're grateful for and hit that like button. Make YouTube know that they like us so they can stop messing with my videos. Dance it out, guys. Come on. Hey. Hey. These days, these days. Yes, that's my new song for you guys. Okay, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed that. It's a good one, good uplifting song. <laughs> we need some drink. Grab a drink, you guys, if you were dancing hard. Woo, you guys, it is day 17 I've been in here. So that puts me at like 16 for chemo. Um, I'm in recovery week right now still today I had my second bone marrow biopsy uh, so they did one when I first got here when I first like my second day I was here and then they gave me one I did my chemo my seven days of chemo and then I'm in recovery week right now and I had uh, so they did a bone marrow biopsy today my second one and to see what my cells look like, to see what everything looks like. So thank you for all the prayers, first of all, uh, for praying for me, for today's biopsy, you guys. I could feel it. I, I love the feeling of not feeling alone, even if I'm alone physically in here because of COVID. Um, I just, I can feel your spirit. Like I can feel your love, I can feel your spirit. It feels like you have like your, everyone has their hands on my back, pushing me forward. And my dad is always holding my hand whenever I have to go for a procedure. So I know that prayers work. I know I have a testimony in prayer, fasting, and Heavenly Father is real. He's amazing. So um, I'll take you through some of the things that happened today. Hello, you guys. Yeah, where are you guys from? Tell me where you're from. I would love to know. So 17 days kick, kicking cancer's butt today. My homegirl, Carla, made that for me. Ooh, I gotta show you guys. Oh, shoot. See my cute room all over, guys? Can you see it? Woo, it's so, my, the nurses always say it's like, so fun in here. I forgot to, guys, to show you guys the cute flower bouquet Andy made me, or his sister made for me for Mother's Day. How cute, huh? Because I can't have any real flowers. So she made me that for Mother's Day. So sweet, huh? So things that have been happening today for our day 17 is I've been learning how to um, do scarves, head scarves. So let's see if I can show you this one. I just want to show you real quick. 
they're harder than it looks, you guys. If I nail a couple down, I'll, actually tomorrow is my goal. I'm gonna nail some down and I'm gonna go live and record it for myself. Because this, this, these are all memories. These are all memories that I'm gonna have forever because I'm gonna beat this dang thing, right? And then it's just gonna be a memory. These are all gonna be a journal. Oh, let's see if I can remember how to do this one. Put it like this. Then she took it like this. These girls, by the way, on YouTube, psh, they're the real deal. They know how to do this thing. And then you just keep twisting this one. I'm just gonna keep twisting. Keep twisting. Okay, I kind of cheated. She did like a cute little knot thing back here. I think she did a knot. But I'm just gonna pull it through. So watch. I'm gonna pull it through. And this is my cheating turban. Or first turban I'm learning. I made it myself. Pull it through. So I made like a little knot, so it's tight. And then I'm gonna pull it to the side because I want it to be like a little head side thingy. Shoot, I'm, not, I'm losing my slack here. And then I'm gonna do it again because I'm gonna twist it again. Tia, around my first knot. And then I'm gonna pull it like this. So then it's kind of like a little loose bun. And then I pull it to the sides because I kind of like the side look. Oh crap, see, it's not that great, but I'll get better at it. This is my first day learning how to wear turbans. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm still learning, I need to tighten this up. So that's what I've been doing today in between my biopsy. <laughs> Cute, did I do it? Thumbs up. Hearts, or no, you guys don't do hearts here, huh? Okay. I've learned to do today. What do you guys think? Boom, yes, good. You gotta do what you can do with the bald head, you know? You gotta live it up. Live up the bald head. So earlier I was saying that today was one of those days that I, I uh, woke up and I just felt great. And I was I'm almost like, I don't have cancer. What am I doing here? I'm, I'm gonna go home tomorrow. It's crazy because sometimes the days are just like up and down like that. Like I'll have a really, really good day. And then other days it's just not that great, but it's okay. Cause we can fight through it and we can keep going. So I've been feeling great overall today, which I know because of all your guys' prayers and your love. Um, I am still on my, I'll show you guys my thing. I'm still on my IV bag of food here so i still my tongue my mouth is still pretty sore from my sores they still have me on continuous platelets right here up there um but we did do something exciting so because i was itching so so much i was itching out of control like it was insane so they took me off the dilaudid remember the pain pump that i was able to push all the time for uh, like a painkiller. Yeah, we got rid of that because that bad boy was making me itch even more. Yes, the Dilaudid. So we got rid of that. They have me on oxycodone now. So I just take oxycodone for my mouth aches and whole, and so far it's been good. It's been really good. Uh, not, I, my itching isn't as bad as it was before. So that's a hallelujah. So no more Dilaudid. Um, and then because of my platelets, you guys remember, we've been praying for the platelets too, to go up. Cause I've been at one for like a couple days, you know, and that's not good to be at one. Um, they put me on a medicine. I can't remember what it's called. Atrovan, Atro, something like that. But anyways, they put me on a medicine that, um, which they had to, in, they had to put in a new IV because I'm currently using every single line in my pick line here so they put me on a new IV that helps the um with a new antibiotic that helps the platelets hopefully to stay so yeah if you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about so the platelet so so far I don't know we'll see how it goes so no more of this itchy crap Dilaudid pain reliever um and so far so good so that's been good Oh, so many things. I have so many things except for blood today. We don't have blood on there today. But I wanted to show you guys, where'd my marker go? My numbers today, 
because since you guys love seeing those numbers, because it's kind of good to see the numbers, right? And for me. So where's, yeah, we need to pray for platelets. Please pray, 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 pray. So my white blood count today is 0 0.5, which yesterday it was 1.4. So that went down, my white blood count. My red blood cells, remember I had a transfusion yesterday, is at 27.8. So that is really good because that's supposed to be over 24. So that's awesome. We like that number. And my platelets today and the last couple days have been at one. But guess what, you guys? Guess what? Take a guess. Everyone take a guess. Guess what? Guess what? Take a guess. What are you guys guessing? They went up 20. Any other guesses? 23, 20, 15, 5. Okay. Close. Keep guessing. <laughs> Any other guesses? 3, 7, 17, 21, 10, 10, 27, 10, 14. They went to four. That is yay. Yay, yay, yay. Isn't that exciting? So that's way better than one. <laughs> way better than one. So we got to celebrate, 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 celebrate any up from here. So they went from one for the, they were at one for like the past how many days, you guys. So we're celebrating the little things always. They went to four. Four. So my platelets are now at four. Hopefully we can keep them there and move them up. So pray that they keep moving up, you guys. Um, my A and C is still at zero, but that's going to be at zero for a while. And this is my neutrophils, my uh, immune system for those that are new. Okay. She's beeping. I got to call my nurse. Yay! So prayers are working. The platelets are going up, you guys. That's amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And then my blast, my cancer blast. Can I help you? Yeah, my machine's just beeping. Okay, I'll send it here. Thank you. My blasts are zero blasts still. And that is awesome too, which it's going to stay there. So I'm super, super excited about that. Thank you for all the prayers for four, because I know that is because of God and because of our prayers. He's listening. I'm sorry about the beeping. It's still going. It's waiting for a nurse to come. Um, yeah, so that is so exciting, right? Oh, I'm so excited for every little good thing that happens. And I'm feeling awesome. Seriously, I feel so good today which I know that's also because of the prayers. Uh, and last night, my cousin Leticia, so she watches this, I don't know if she does or not, but if she watches this, she introduced me to circle breathings, which I don't know if you guys have heard of circle breathing, but, um, oh man, this is gonna get annoying, guys. I only know how to press this. It's not working. Should we just sit here and wait till it's done? Hmm. Are the biopsies painful? Um, I don't think so. I've heard a lot of people say, oh my gosh, aren't the biopsies just so painful? And yeah, we should dance the beat. We're gonna dance the beat. Oh, press pause. It's going off. I don't know why. Oh, you have one over here. I was yeah. <laughs> oh, there it goes. It's done. So, um, so yeah, so my, um, me, my cousin introduced me to circle breathing, which is awesome. It's basically like a meditation and you put on some meditation music for like an hour and then um, you just relax and you circle breathe, which is like 
you with you breathe in through your mouth and you breathe out through your mouth really really fast so you're like and you use your diet you use your belly you know how babies breathe with their their bellies lift up and down that's basically what it is and so last night i did that before bed because i was so like itchy and everything i couldn't relax and i know it helped me a ton to just relax and go have a good sleep well you do the breathing this breathing and you're supposed to do it fast and your eyes are closed and your belly's being lifted and down like up and down for each one um, for 30 minutes you do that for 30 minutes and then you just meditate and you just sit quiet for the next 30 minutes but i it like knocks me out like i do it and it knocks me out and i get and i just have like the best of sleep so i know that's why i feel like i don't know with my um strengthening my lungs and helping me to just relax and get some like good airflow uh because remember we're trying to use our lungs <laughs> because cancer loves no oxygen. So we gotta make sure we're getting the oxygen in our body. Try it, you guys should try it sometime. If you have any questions, I can send her to you. So, so she is amazing. Um, what is it, we forget our baby. Yes. Yeah, no, it's so true. Because we're supposed to be using our bellies to breathe. Like when we breathe, we're supposed to be using our bellies and like babies do when they're born, but we forget to do that when, as we grow up. We just, we start to use more of our lungs and more up here. So using that belly breath is, it's just so important. So it was so good. I love it. So thank you, Leticia, for showing me that. She's amazing, you guys. You guys, yeah, she's amazing. So I feel like that was a huge, huge help today to me. Um, but that is pretty much the update for today, you guys. We're excited about the four platelets. So raise the roof. Yes. Yes. Using your diaphragm for the win. Uh-huh. Yes. Try it. Try it with no, yes, with pneumonia. Just lay there still. Meditate. Like this. Put some meditation music on that will last like a couple hours, obviously. And everyone has a different reaction. So um, for me, it just like calms me down and makes me pass out. Cause obviously, I, as you can see, my energy level is just like crazy and I don't sleep normally. So it's so good for your, um, just it's so good for you. So everyone reacts differently. So for me, it just knocks me out, which I love and I need. Um, but last thing but not least you guys is Um, we will get results back for our, for my, I said our, like this is our thing. It is our journey. This is our journey, guys, because I need you. Um, for our bone marrow uh, biopsy on Wednesday. So Wednesday at 2.45, I'm scheduled to have a meeting with the doctors. I'm going to zoom in with my family and my husband will be on the phone and basically we'll... <sighs> Tell us our next plan of action. So hopefully pray, 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 pray that our the bone marrow trans the bone marrow biopsy comes back empty. That's what we want it to be. We want it to come back empty um, with no more cancer cells, and that I will just continue on with my um, normal chemo uh, treatments the next four. So. Yes, cross your fingers, pray that on Wednesday, 2.45, that meeting is, they're gonna say, Tia, you are clear, it's empty. <laughs> but if it's not, it's God's will and it's in God's hands. So whatever he wants this journey to be, he will be the one that directs it. And I have total faith in that. I know that, um, I was actually, my brother sent me a talk today about um, trials from, um, Russell and Nelson, was it him? I think so, I can't remember exactly, but um, about trials, and I say this all the time, I've been, I, whenever I pray, I don't refer trials to trials, they are actually opportunities. So this is an opportunity. It's an opportunity for us to be able to grow close to our Heavenly Father, grow our relationships, 
grow with people, learn from this experience, uh, be able to just be refined. You know, this is an opportunity for me to be refined and to be a better person and to hopefully come out a stronger person and better and just be refined for what's to come next. So it's, it is an opportunity. These, this isn't a trial. And I just feel so blessed that I got this opportunity to be a part of. Um, yeah, I just feel so grateful for this opportunity that he's given me. So a lot of people would look at it. I mean, a lot of, I know we think cancer. We think like, oh my gosh, what the heck? But for me, I just feel like, yeah, I still have my, my sad moments and my hard times, you know, but honestly, in all reality, I just feel like this is an opportunity for me, you know, and he's given me this opportunity to be able to, um, declare his name, just show so much love. It's funny because before on Easter, um, we, we our, our our little family was going around and sharing our favorite um, Jesus story. And this was before I got diagnosed, obviously. And my favorite Jesus story was of Mary Magdalene who touched, who was sick. I don't know if you guys remember this. And she touched his robe. She knew just touched him that she would be healed. Sorry. So for me, I just feel like this is just an opportunity for me to touch him and use my faith. Strengthen my faith and strengthen my testimony and strengthen my love for him. And I know that if I can just touch him and reach him and, and believe in him and lean unto him, that I will be healed. And that as long as I am in this journey, that he's going to guide me and direct me and I will come out stronger. I know that. And I hope everybody else knows that with any trial that you're going through, any hard time that you're going through, they're not trials at all. Look at them as opportunities. So from now on, when a hard thing comes in your life, I want you to reference it as an opportunity, not as that T word. <laughs> It's an opportunity for you to get stronger, an opportunity for you to get better, an opportunity for you to learn from, an opportunity for us to be refined and to grow closer to our Heavenly Father. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to challenge you guys to that uh, from now on. Just look at all those bumps, walls, and as opportunities. And I know that are will be able to be changed and that things will be a lot better and that we will grow in every in so many different ways i promise you um i love you guys so much that is day 17 of my journal entry for this amazing opportunity that we're on and i'm excited um for what's to come so wednesday 2 45 is our meeting that we'll hear more Tomorrow, I'm going to attempt more of these turbans, <laughs> head scarves on my live so I can get better at it. Um, I'm going to learn a couple. And for now, we're going to have a word of prayer. Uh, should we jam out first? Let's have a word of prayer and then we'll... Wait, do you have a prayer and then jam out? Jam out and then prayer. Jam out. Let's jam out. We'll jam out one last time. Sending you guys all big hugs, virtual hugs today. Here we go. So everyone get up and dance. This is an opportunity. We'll take it to our favorite part. Yo, 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 yo. Things are just things. They don't make you who you are. With you when you're gone. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, 
I do? I said, hey, man, and hallelujah, let me testify too. Come on, uncle, get up and dance. If I have any family members, get up and dance. Alright, put that on my life. Uh uh when I open my eyes from I see you shine. When we're planning a flag, they don't understand. The world is up for grab. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for being here with me tonight. I love you. Oh, whew. I love you guys so much. And you're amazing. Everyone say, I'm amazing. Say, I got this. Say, we can do hard things. Yes. All right. Here we go. We're going to say a prayer. Our dear, kind, gracious Heavenly Father, we're so grateful to be gathered here as friends and family together to be able to unite our faith and our trust in thee that we know that everything is anything is possible with thee and that miracles do happen we're so grateful for this opportunity to be together and to be able to build new relationships and to be able to put our faith and trust in thee and at this time and lean unto thee and that we know that everything is in your hands we're grateful for this opportunity to be able to be stronger to build our faith to build our trust to build our we know that these these opportunities are given to us to be able to lean unto thee and to be able to remember that you are the ultimate and that you can lead us in the right way. Please bless my husband Andy at this time that he can be comforted and that he can be watched over as he's working on our home to make it safe for me to come home to. And bless him that he may be able to fill thy love and fill thy comfort around him right now. As well as my kids, please bless my kids that they can know that I love them and that I'm thinking about them and that they are my everything and they're the reason why I'm here fighting. So grateful for all the many great people that are praying and fasting and loving and and just doing using their talents to be able to help me and please bless their families that their needs will be met and they can be able to be blessed and grateful for the nurses and doctors here that are helping me get better and please bless all the poor and sick and those that are in need at this time or that are going through their opportunities right now and that they can be comforted. We're grateful for all our many blessings and we know that everything good comes from thee. We have faith in thee and we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. All right, guys, I love you. We got this. Him, you, me. Him, you, me. Him, you, me. We got this. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. I love you and good night. <laughs>